Hi there guys, my name is Danielle. You can call me Danny and welcome to my channel. Um, sorry, I'm trying to work the best of my ability of what I can. Um, right now, whew, the last time I talked to you, I was in the hospital and I had just gotten out of surgery. And now it is two weeks later, I am home and I'm, you know, I'm on the road to recovery. I'm not thriving, but you know, I'm getting there. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I guess I just want to catch you up on everything, like how I'm doing and stuff. So after I left the hospital, I stayed in the hospital for two days after my surgery. After that, I left. I was home for two days and then I went back to the hospital and stayed for another five days. So I was there for a whole week. Now, hi Maya. Because there was an issue that happened after my surgery. So I had to stay at the hospital for a little while again. Uh, but now I'm home today. Wednesday actually marks the two week of my surgery, which is crazy because it doesn't feel like it's been two weeks. Um, I'm still recovering. My stomach hurts a lot still. Like sitting right here, it hurts. I want to lay down, but it'll still hurt when I lay down. <laughs> and um, yeah, um, I Mm, the only medicine I take for my pain is Tylenol. Mm, sorry, it's mm, my stomach. Um, I do take like other medicines or whatever to make sure everything's doing okay. Um, my wounds are healing great. Sorry, there's a bus passing. <laughs> um, says my doctor. Mm, they look gross though so I don't show anybody those <sighs> sorry I am also very tired it's hard to sleep sometimes because my my stomach is in constant pain so I'll just like wake up in the middle of the night and just be in so much pain but I can't take more medicine because it's bad for me so I'll just lay there. Like, for instance, I didn't go to bed till 12, and then I woke up at 4, and I've been up since then because I can't sleep because how much my stomach hurts. So, yeah. <laughs> um, basically, I've just been home um, watching TV. I've been doing a lot of crosswords, a lot of you know just like book puzzles stuff like that um that was like pretty much it i'm not really doing anything different every day um i i did put up my christmas tree well i didn't put it up it was already up but like i decorated it so that was a big accomplishment for me um i decorated a little bit more put up my stockings for my house and I put some more like little decor stuff in my living room <sighs> Ooh, sorry guys oh it sucks because I'm just basically on the couch all day every day and it's boring <laughs> Um, I have not allowed visitors yet. The only people that come to visit me is my mom, um, and my grandparents. Those are the only people <sighs> that I've allowed to come visit me. Uh, since today, I'm, it's my two weeks, that means I am able to eat uh, pureed food, so things that are at like an applesauce consistency, which is sounds gross, and it is gross. I just had some like pasta stuff that was very 
mixed or pureed or whatever. And it was gross. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, uh, my grandpa's visiting me today. And I'm actually now allowing other people to come visit me. So I'm having a friend come visit me today too. So that's cool. That's nice. Um, kind of hoping they won't stay too long. Be both my grandparents and my friend. Cause I'm, as you can tell, I'm super tired, and my stomach is in a lot of pain today for some reason. Probably because my diet now went up, so I can eat more. But when I try to eat more, it doesn't work. <laughs> it tastes gross. Guys, you have no idea. I cannot wait to eat a flipping hamburger. I like. I just. I really want a hamburger. <laughs> and I want a good one, like one from like Culver's or Freddy's or something. Not like McDonald's or anything. Ugh, no. Like a good hamburger. I'm ready. <laughs> Obviously, my stomach isn't ready, but like me f mentally, I'm ready <laughs> to have that again. <laughs> and have normal food. I know it's weird, but I miss eating veggies. I have been on... A diet of literally just yogurt, pudding, jello, and baby food. And it's disgusting. I'm like so over it. I want food. Like, I miss broccoli. I, I don't know why, but I miss <gasps> peas. I miss peas. I probably can have peas now, but I can't go to the store to buy peas. So I have to wait till my mom comes so I can give her my grocery list so she can get food for me. It sucks. Technically, I have two and a half more weeks until I go to my next doctor's appointment. And that's when they tell me I can um, go <clears throat> up on my diet and I can start eating soft foods. So it's like I can actually start eating regular foods, but like just at a soft consistency. I can't have like, like tortilla chips or things like that, you know, that are really hard. So that's exciting. Two weeks to wait for that. Next week is Christmas. Um, my family is still debating what to do. Um, since I'm not, technically I'm not allowed to leave my house because I might, you know, fall over. <laughs> uh, but <clears throat> I think for Christmas we're gonna, what's my call it? We're going to um, ignore that rule and go, I'll probably go to like my parents' house or something. Because we originally wanted it here, but since I'm sick, well, you know, not sick, sick, but since, you know, I'm still in recovery and stuff, my living room and my house is like kind of messy. So that's not cool because I can't really clean anything because I'm not allowed to. I know it's weird, it's, like, it's weird to say it, but literally, like, my rules that they sent me home with, it, <clears throat> like, I'm not allowed to broom, I'm not allowed to vacuum, not allowed to bend down, I'm not allowed to, I'm not allowed to do a lot of things, and it sucks, but then, when I want to do those things, like, my body just goes limp, you know, it sucks, like, I'm not gonna lie, it's really rough. I didn't think it'd be this rough, but it's pretty rough. But that's my two week update. Um, oh yeah, I got this thing from Influencer. Uh, if you guys don't know what Influencer is, it's basically ugh, just like a service for people who are uh, trying to broaden their like makeup and like skin and all that like just brought in their knowledge about like the beauty community and stuff it's what they do and what they do is that they choose some um like upcoming influencers and give them things to like review and uh, show off and stuff like that kind of like a like a miniature pr thing but 
but instead of like getting it for free free what you do is that you give feedback to the actual company that sends the stuff so for example I don't even know what's in here so we'll we'll check together oh I got some double dip chocolate peanuts yum um okay yeah love that for me and then I got a wet n wild liquid catsuit shimmer liquid eyeshadow in the shade stars align that's cute it's like a nice purple shade hold on I'll show you so let me open it I thought it was a lip gloss for a second I got scared because I don't like lip gloss but this is actually a pretty color I didn't even know they had liquid shadows. This is new. I wonder if this is new. They have, they also have like a little note in here that tells you everything. So I'm going to see if it says it's new. Ooh. Smells all right. Let me... Wow, that's actually... Mm, that's pretty... That's all right. I wonder if you guys can see that. Can you guys see that? It's not as deep as I want it to be. But the glitter comes out pretty well, so that's cool. What else we got in here? And then from Wet n Wild, I got a high shine lipstick. I think this is, is this the liquid lipstick or is this the lip gloss? Because they, they confuse me on that because sometimes they look the same. I think this one's just the regular liquid lipstick. Get off my hand. <laughs> Let's check. This one's like a really bright pink. Uh, yep, this one's the gloss. Ugh. But that's what that looks like. It's very thick feeling. And it's not that very... It's not that... Sh I don't know. It doesn't come on evenly. I don't know. Sorry, wet and wild, but... I don't, I don't like those. Then I got... Same... Same more... It's me clarifying cleansing scrub. That's cool. So I got this like scrub that I'm gonna try out and then I give them my feedback. <coughs> ah. Okay, so it says here that I got the it says Moy clarifying cleansing scrub. So then I you know, I try that, review it, and then I give feedback to them. And then I got the Branch Chocolate Collection. I try that, give them feedback. Then I got the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Eyeshadow and High Shine Lipstick. And I try that out like I showed you, and then I'll review it. So then I'll tell them what I think. I think that's all I got, but that's okay. And yeah. So like my first impressions of those two, you saw that on camera. So then I'll try them out later on and see how like they wear or whatever. Then I give my feedback to Wet n Wild. <clears throat> and that's how it works. So I got those I get those products from them and then in return I give them my feedback on it. So let me just put that on my face. That's cool. <laughs> so that's basically what that is. But yeah, that's how everything's going. Laying on my couch. Gonna watch some Next Great Baker. Uh, Maya's outside. She's just chilling. And yeah, I guess that's just, that's my update for you guys. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I'm doing okay. Bored. And a little bit of pain, but, you know, that's just what you got to do. Alrighty, guys. Um, I guess I'm going to say goodbye. And I'll talk to you guys later. Don't know when, but I'll do it sometime, sometime later. Sorry. There you go. And, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for wanting an update. Thanks for... 
I don't know. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like so out of it right now. Thanks for being here. Thanks for all uh, your love and support. Thank you for wearing your prayers and your best wishes. I love you guys and I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.